Hey everybody, welcome to our very first NFR edition of The Score. This is kind of a different uh, different kind of format. This is the short score, but you're going to get it every single day after every single round, and you're going to get to talk to the go-round winners, or at least listen to me talk to the go-round winners every night. So without further ado, uh, if, you, if you'd have missed it, Caleb Driggers, Junior Negra, they won round one with a 4.2 second run. They won round one last year with a 4.1 second run. Um, so they're just repeating. These guys were in such a great mood in the press room. They were having a really big time. Sometimes um, they can be a little intense, these two. Um, they can be a little f- hyper-focused, and they said that's the, you'll hear it in their interview. That it's part of their game plan to loosen up a little bit, make sure they're doing their jobs, and make sure they're having fun. And it was very clear that so far, so good on that game plan. So enjoy, and I'll talk to you at the end. Hey, Junior. Yes. Welcome to the round one edition of The Score, the Two Rep and Journals podcast, and you have the glory of being our very first guest, because you won round one. That's awesome. Well, hi everybody. <laughs> We're here and I'm very excited. We just got done roping round one, and we won it. That's cool. Green card was pretty outstanding. Is he, he did good job. He did good job. Uh, you had been. I I I've been rolling. I know him so well. You know. I but have you've still this been working on his corner a little bit. Uh, yeah, we just uh, we know here so you know so sharp corner and uh, such a fast start. Also, sometimes it's hard. And then this morning, I just went out there with my friend uh, Cookie at the Rock and K Ranch and just uh, roped the dummy in a little bit and just working small circles to the left and roped the smarty. And, uh, you know, that's where I fix your horse most of the time and help you get get ready. Yeah. Give me one second. Yeah. And um, you slipped a little bit of rope. Could have been a little bit faster. I did. Uh, we had a really good steer. He was a little strong. And uh, Caleb had a good start and hooked on it. And uh, I was just a little bit late, but not not bad. And I just took my time and let him... I don't know, maybe just tap right when he roped me just a little, and I let him turn, and I just come from behind, push him, take him one more, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and uh, heal him. Um, and I just let rope just a touch. But I don't know if I come, if I if I dial on the top of the horn or just let ropes. Maybe Caleb was going too fast. I don't know. Oh, and Caleb just arrived because he was helping Marty Yates in the calf rope. And how did Marty do? Split it third and fourth. Oh. Did you push the calf? Oh heck no! I was just helping in the box. <laughs> Junior was supposed to have Corey Solomon. I have him too. He split third and fourth as well. See, it's good. I'm good pretty, luck, Charm. I'm pretty good luck, Charm. You get that, <laughs> man. See, good English. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, uh, now that you are here and with us, you were on Yahtzee. That horse. He, to give us his little backstory. He's been a little bit through everybody. Yeah, like you said, he's come. There's quite a few of us headers that have had him. Uh, he actually started with Trevor Brazil. Rode him one fall in 2010, I think it was, and then Brandon Webb ended up with him for a year or two, and then I started roping Patrick, and they was really good friends, and now me and no, Webb's become really good friends, and he ended up letting me buy him because I needed one, and he had a few good ones, so that was nice of him, and then uh, I actually started, I rode him for a year, and then I started uh, healing for Webb, so I didn't need any head horses, so I sold him to Bird, and Bird's had him since then, and then I bought him back in March, and rode him some this uh, year, and then riding him here and actually I sold him to a buddy of mine, Corey Clark, and uh, I'm going to, I guess after the finals he'll take over him and then that was kind of our agreement though was I get him for three NFR, so. Oh, three. And Yahtzee's how old now? Fourteen. Oh, okay, so he definitely has three more left in it. That's cool. Caleb, you, did you guys win round one last year? You won round one last year and you won round one the year that Jade won the world, that you're up with Jade. Mm -hmm. So, tell me about your game plan going into this. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, I've kind of been on the muscle every year. I've came here and just trying to win first all the time. And this year I've kind of taken a little bit different outlook on it. Um, dang sure enjoying it and being excited, but at the same time just taking it all in stride. And just like, a, just like in the beginning and at the end, I always focus and I'm ready because there's something on the line. And then during the middle it gets a little dull and I don't focus as good and I don't rope as good. So... This year, I'm just going to try to keep my focus good. If I can stay focused, then should be able to rope better. Junior, you said you're just going to have fun and do your job. Yeah, that's our goal, and uh, 
just go steer by steer, not even worry about it. Like you're saying, you watch everybody I didn't. I just want to get to see the last team before us go, and uh, that's why we're going to work, try to stay hooked and just do our job. I think if we can't get our job done, we're going to be pretty successful. That steer was pretty good you guys had. Yeah, he was a great steer, honestly. When we watched him on the run through, uh, he looked pretty dang strong. I think I just got a pretty good start at him tonight because that's one thing I kind of changed too as always. I've always reached, so I've never, I've been one of the guys that do not want to break the barriers, but this is such a different atmosphere and uh, setup and everything else that you almost, it's a marathon, not a sprint, so you kind of, even though it pays 26,000 every night, you can be way more consistent even if you break a barrier um, catching the steer than if it seems like if he gets you beat a little bit then you're way behind him. It's not like a normal setup where when you come across there riding or whatever, but uh, that's what I'm just going to try to stay consistent on the barrier and uh, do the best I can. Good deal. Well, thanks, guys. Have fun tonight. Thank you. All right. Hope y'all couldn't hear all the team rippers, Brady Miner, Dirk Begay, Eric Rogers coming up and giving those guys big hugs, telling them congrats while we were talking. So I hope you hang with this podcast. It's going to be always kind of on the fly, a little bit fun right here from the Thomas and Mac. Tonight's episode was brought to you by Soft Ride Equine Comfort Boots. Um, remember, without Soft Ride, without all of our Rope Vegas sponsors, we wouldn't be able to be behind the scenes bringing you the content that we do. If you are headed to the South Point to rope with the World Series Team Rep Finale, make sure you've got your soft rides on your horse. Um, if you don't have them yet, pick them up at uh, softrideboots.com. And remember, before we go, you can watch every round of the World Series of Team Roping Finale 13 live and on demand only on ridepass.com. Become a member today. Thanks, everybody.